you're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. You said this whole thing would be easy, but after we sank our blade into her heart, she just got up and started stabbing us. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. He couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us, like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right?
What? No! No! I wouldn't stab you! I am just a sweet, innocent princess trapped here for no reason. And you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to... not stabbing distance to help me. I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. But you know who is armed? You! So stop second guessing yourself and do your job. But I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. Last time? If somebody came into my house and stabbed me to death and then I killed him, surely I would remember that. But I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. Last time? What are you talking about? Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. Would I just lie? Would I just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? I mean, just so I could stab you for the first time. Aha! She slipped up there. She said again, and her taking it back doesn't count. Do you hear how deranged you sound right now? Please stop dawdling. This is only going to end with violence. Postponing the inevitable is only going to make it worse for you when it actually happens. A knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you, but I don't have one, so I can't. The princess smiles as she pulls her hands from behind her back. But look at this! Hands! Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with! Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. And empty sleeves, too! Look at how few stabbing implements I have! It's practically zero! I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. Wait, that sounds like I'm lying, but I'm actually not. My secret zones are for me, only they have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Her smile drops for a moment, her expression sharp and flat. I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. I'm inclined to believe her on that one. She seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. That's so rude of you, passing judgments on strangers you've never met just because they're different from you. How would you like it if I did that, huh? 
Silly little bird face thinks she's so serious coming down here but doesn't know anything. Thinks he can tell me to get rid of all the knives I don't even have while he gets to wave one around right in front of me. I bet you didn't like that, did you? I bet you didn't like being judged for no reason. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? We're clearly still figuring out our angle, we don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh I'm sorry, do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? You're acting like you are. My entire world is at risk. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. No, I have my dignity. Fine, then we'll continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. But we don't have anything to talk through. We're strangers and this place is cramped and annoying and you should just come over here and let me out. I think I've said my piece at this point. I think we all have, but if you want to keep exhausting your questions it beats getting stabbed to death. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. You won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within close staring distance just to be sure. Okay, I'm bored now. She's bored? That's absurd, she doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner, she's- shit. In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. So I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. How conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. And those chains stop her from continuing her advance, at least for a moment. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. And then she slices through her arm. Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. She doesn't even hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. Ah, shit! Okay, she's down an arm and we still have a weapon. I guess we'll have to use it. use it you do, but unfortunately for you and for the entire world, you are horribly outmatched. You keep pace with her for a single brief and wordless exchange before she severs your hand and with it your only line of defence. She's much better at this than she was last time. Yeah, it's unreal. Bloody cheater. I'm going to kill you now. And with a squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die.